Hello YouTube, I saw this video where a man took this grinding stone and uh, ground down his cast iron to make it a smooth surface so that nothing would stick to it. Well, we just bought this nice pan, which is more of a two egg at one time with a sausage or something type saucepan. And uh, it's cast iron and it's bumpy. So I'm going to try to smooth it out with this one here that I got from Harbor Freight. It's a polycarbide abrasive wheel. I don't know that I can get enough strength out of my one and only drill and uh, or enough speed or whatever I need. If this thing will come apart, <laughs> if it'll do the job, but I can't hurt cast iron, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's see how this works out. Here we go, come along with me. Before I get started, let me explain that uh, when I watched this guy do this, he was outdoors and he had down a tarp and he was wearing a mask because of the dust that will come off of this. Now I have the wind blowing from my back. Uh, I've forgotten how loud my drill is. It's not that loud, but for me it's too much, especially for a prolonged period. So I'm going to wear this as well as my eye protection. So everyone do the same. And although I had the wind in my back, I decided to wear one of these because there's going to be dust. Here we go. All right, I'm going to point out a couple of things. The guy was right. This does create a lot of dust and I need to get further off the edge. As you can see, the color of my hand is starting to turn black so I'm gonna go wash my hands and then wear some gloves it's come all the way up on my arms and bits and pieces flying in my face uh, I did notice that it does seem to work better on an edge like this rather than on its side so it cuts it must be going faster or it cuts better but I am happy with what I see Okay, I spent the better part of 20 minutes and uh, this stone has not worn down but just a little on the edge of which I used it here but I'm real happy with the smoothness of this thing uh, I could sit here and work on it longer because I still see some dimples in certain areas but those dimples are no longer have a rough edge to them like this side here that you can See the difference this is this is really smooth so I'm real happy with the way it worked out I don't know if going over it with sandpaper is gonna make any bit of difference because it is cast iron that we're talking about here but I'm gonna give it a shot since I'm only doing this once and um, I can feel the grit of the sandpaper tearing into it I can see it making scratch marks and I don't think I like that at all. So uh, maybe I'll just go over it with the coarse grit. I mean, the, the fine grit. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this works. I don't know that it's doing anything. Yeah, um, kind of like what the wheel does. I don't think the sandpaper is doing anything. So that's a lesson learned. Sandpaper is not going to do this job, even to try to give it a better finish than the wheel does. So I'm going to come back over it with a light touch on the wheel. Now let me explain also that... Uh, this is just a cheap uh, drill that's not really designed for this kind of work. It uh, actually should have a bigger drill that I could run longer. This thing got really hot. And if I were to set this down on a workbench and press down on it, it'd probably burn the drill out. But that's the way you really need to do this. You really need to bear down on it uh, to get it done within a few minutes. So the 20 minutes that I worked on it, 
what else have I got to do? Anyway, so I'm gonna go back over this with a fine, with a fine uh, touch and uh, finish up the job and then we'll see what we can do about giving this thing a nice protective coat. All right, I can already see where uh, a couple of splashes of water touched that raw iron and it's starting to rust. So I got to get this thing cleaned up and the oil on it and get it on the stove to heat it and then put it in the oven. And so all I have is some olive oil here, extra virgin. And um, I know that there's another oil that's better. I just don't know what it is, but I'm going to do with what I have. Okay, I'm cleaning this thing with a paper towel because it's going to get iron all over everything and it will stain probably I'll scrub it hard as you can see it keeps coming off you want to do that until it's clean boy that's smooth I'll give it a complete dry so that there's nothing fighting the oil for the surface. Doesn't take much. Tablespoon. Just want a surface coat. And then I'm going to burn that in. Here we go. Gonna take it to its uh, to its smoking point and then turn it off and put it in the oven okay i don't know whether or not you can see the surface putting off smoke i don't want the uh, alarms to go off in the house but i'm going to stop right there as the oil is starting to turn set that in there upside down one hour the highest this will go is 450 so let's start now yeah, we'll come back in an hour i am ho in my humble opinion i should have cleaned this with a scrunch scrubber whatever it's called and dish soap before doing this to get everything scraped out of the pores but now that i've started uh, I actually can see that it is beginning to cure, but all of these darker colors here are uh, raised areas. So I'm going to take them off and go ahead and scrape it down. I don't know if it'll go back to the metal or not, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it I would think that it's like painting a car, you know, it takes more than one coat. And uh, I think that to get this nice and smooth without all these raised bumps in here, it might take several applications, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a try. All right. I'm real happy with the way that scraped out. Uh, it's no longer bumpy at all. Um, but some of these areas here are cured better than others. You can actually see where I wiped oil in this direction. So I uh, drying this off to make sure once again, I don't need as thick a coat as I did the first time. I can actually go a lot thinner now, wipe, uh, wipe it in and then throw it back in the oven. And uh, this time I'm gonna let it sit in there for an hour and a half instead of an hour. Like I said, needs very little. That is way too much. I'm going to take most of that out of here and use a fresh towel. That's it. Just a smear. All right, so I have a smear coat on here and now I'll throw this in the oven. Hopefully that'll turn black go once again to as hot as I can bake 450 timer one 90 minutes 
and we're a go. Breakfast. It's what's for dinner. I'm going to cook a couple eggs. Proof is in the eggs. Or the pudding. Anyway, I've got a hot pan now, or at least it's mostly hot. I'm going to put in a little bit of oil. Oh, well, that's a lot of oil. Okay. So, uh, the pan turned out really well. And once I get done cooking, we'll see how easy it is for it to clean. Be once it get done cooking, we'll see how hard or easy it is to clean. Yeah, it's warm. It's like a flat iron skillet. Now normally whenever I do breakfast, I uh, have a sausage or bacon or something like that. But uh, I'm just going to do eggs for now. And um, it's a little bit sticky, which is actually surprising. Maybe the pan is too hot. Because when I cook uh, in the other cast iron pan, it doesn't stick as bad. Maybe the curing, once it gets better. Now that I'm mangling them. All right, the pan will stay hot. The great thing about cast iron, I have turned it off. Oh, just a touch of salt and pepper. Fresh cracked. I'm going to let that sit while the pan cools off. I think I would have been better served to do a hamburger or something of a meat product. Well, if I wanted to run a burn-in test, that was definitely it. So, this thing cleans a whole lot easier than it, as a smooth pan than it does as a bumpy pan. Because I have two other pans I have to do this to because they're so bumpy. You can't even scrape this stuff out like this. It just seems like it never comes off. So, this came off real easy with this regular spatula that we use for uh, eggs in this pan, actually, in the other pan. There is the other pan and it is bumpy it is not smooth so i think that maybe butter might try might do a better job so i'm going to give this another crack with butter all right free handing it here just as before uh, only this time with butter i don't know how much butter to use in this pan got a lot of butter okay it's as hot as it was before if not hotter yeah. I need to turn it down. Okay, I got the eggs in there and I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, butter is going to be better for cooking eggs. Any kind of meat, you really don't need anything but oil. But this is already not sticking like it did before. Look at that. Not sticking. Well, when I flip this, we'll see. Alright, I think that the bottom part is done enough. Let's see how it flips. Oh yeah, I can tell it's better. Oh, I'm really surprised that oil does not do as well as butter. That's perfect. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Turn it off and let the heat all right, still cooking even with it off. Move it off of the heat so the pan can cool. Take off these perfectly done eggs. Still just a little bit of stickiness. I think as it cures more, that, that will go away because I don't get this kind of sticking in the pan that has the bumps still. This pan here. You hear that? 
big difference in those pans. So my recommendation is that you do this to your cast iron, even if they're old, and then re-season them. It probably will take a number of applications, unless you're just going to season it a little bit and then allow your cooking to season it. But as you can see, it is clean already. All I have to do is wipe it out. A little bit of stickiness there, and that's it. No problem. A number one. It's a winner. Another job well done by Mighty Mouse. Thanks for watching, folks.